friend in this video lecture i'm going to discuss about how to assign mapping variable with workflow variable in informatica power center so this is the video lecture 18 of this informatica class series so first here let's go on this repository manager so, and first going to create one new folder so here let's give the meaningful name tw underscore after that selecting this now let's go into uh, this uh, mapping designer so mapping designer then after the next is or uh, dw sony is already is there here you can see source and target so what i'm trying to do so this uh, dpt one that's going to track there and uh, the next is target or dpt tct so here you can see this target is there this okay let's go into this target or designer and let's uh, import from the database so going to use there as cart and now give the password so here going to use uh, the target or target table dpt tct 11 so this target that's going to use and uh, after that here you can see this uh, is the source select a start from dpt one and this is the target target or uh, does not have any record the next is this is mapping designer the next is let's create to one new mapping so m underscore giving here assign or uh, here workflow you should give any meaningful name now the next is let's uh, use the source and the target so source is the dpt1 and uh, let's uh, track there this target now next is going to create one of mapping variable so let's click on this plus and here let's give the name cr underscore date including m so this come from mapping so that including m so this should be data and here max not click on this ok so this we need to give after that let's use their expression transformation expression transformation and now let's so or click there plus and this should be data let's give here the name cr underscore date and uh, uh, this here output type and now let's give here the port so that's come from variable this is now mcr date so remove this mcr date now let's click on ok so this taken there after that click on this apply ok now or uh, the next is let's uh, uh, select this all track there now save that so mapping is valid now let's open the workflow manager so workflow manager is opening or uh, this place now let's uh, go workflow designer let's uh, go and create the workflow let's give your wf and uh, dw lenovo is the workflow and uh, the next is let's go and uh, here click on this edit then you can create your variable so going to create one variable this should be date time and uh, or they are going to use so this uh, variable is the workflow variable so going to give here wf and uh, cr underscore date so workflow variable and no need to initialize let's click on this apply ok so variable that's created after that here let's use the assignment task assignment task double click there expression click on this plus so uh, workflow variable that's come there here you can see this is workflow variable and now you need to give the expression so what expression or uh, that's going to give so there on this assignment task here we need to give this state so this state value that should become and after that click on apply ok now the next is let's uh, uh, take the uh, link and thereafter let's uh, create here session 
association that's come from MSI now or this you need to specify the detail so this DPT that's come from escort and uh, now this uh, that's come from escort and this here or normal and uh, let's go truncate so this option you need to enable thin or uh, this place you need to go there and uh, here precession variable assignment you need to select and uh, here you can go there click on this plus so mapping variable you can see this is mapping variable or that's come there you need to give and this here workflow variable so workflow variable that's come there after that apply and ok thereafter you need to uh, stabilize the link and now let's start the start from the workflow task so this here uh, starting mapping is valid you can see you can get the message of this so what exactly happening there so the assignment task assisted that so value workflow variable this succeeded workflow variable that assigned there to mapping variable and mapping variable assisted that's go there okay so this uh, succeeded and this is currently running this also succeeded now you can see this is the and five rows incoming and or uh, that's loading to the target now let's uh, check the output so it was blank now here you can see this date that's come there so what exactly happening this mapping variable so mapping variable this initialize with uh, nothing blank okay and uh, here this blank value is going to target so uh, here what I did on this session so this assignment task assignment task or uh, this workflow variable this uh, value this state that so uh, go to the workflow variable and after that uh, on this uh, here or uh, this uh, pre session so this workflow variable is state that's go to mapping mcr date okay so mapping value is now that's become so this is is date is there and this uh, value that go to c state that is now assigned to the mapping variable so mapping variable that's become here c state so this is now that's uh, it was uh, or uh, blank but uh, uh, when you run the session this here mcr date that's uh, is now become c state and this c state that's go into this cr date so that here it's so uh, displaying or uh, cr date is now c state so c state is now 6 october 24 so this is the most uh, simplest way we can assign here a uh, mapping variable with workflow variable in informatica power center so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.